Hey, good afternoon guys, it's your boy Easy. I'm back for another video. Uh, I'm doing my 48,000 kilometer service on my 2017 Indian Springfield. Um, I've just did an uh, oil change. I've got a video uh, showing you how to do that already. I'll put a link in the description, so feel free to check that out. Um, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to change spark plugs and also how to gap the spark, pl spark plugs properly. Um, before we start, you know, feel free to uh, hit the subscribe button so you'll get notified um, uh, of any future videos that I do uh, on my motorcycle. So right now I've got a 2017 Springfield uh, as well as a 2018 Triumph Tiger 1200. Um, but if I do change bikes, then I will be doing videos on that as well. So let's move to the bike. Give me a second. Okay, so uh, um, I'm at my bike. I've uh, removed the air filter because I'm just cleaning it, washing it. Um, it's good to do that every every so often or every service. Um, but I'm gonna get to the spark plug change and gap. So before we get started, I just wanted to show you the spark plugs that I've got. I've got these ones from NGK. These are iridium spark plugs. Um, and um, you're gonna wanna need uh, this, this type, uh, DCP R8 E and then the ix are the iridium type so i'll put a link in the description of where you can buy them but you can probably get them on uh, amazon or ebay um okay let me set up the camera and then we will get started okay so let's start by removing the old spark plugs so you're gonna want to need a uh, 5 8 uh, spark plug socket which i've got here and let's start with the rear saloon first that's easy so you just gotta pull out this rubber boot um, and try not to damage it so let me try pulling this out and then it should come out fairly easy don't damage it okay there you go let me do the same for the front as well uh, so let me move the camera and yep hopefully you can see it so let me just get this out Okay, so I got them out. Um, uh, yeah, it's fairly easy. I just I didn't want to block the camera, so I just paused for a second. But these boots, these rubber boots are labeled front and rear. Okay, so it's, it's no mistaking them. Okay, so now let's get the old spark plug socket out. Um, get your 5 8 so um, spark plug socket. And... Uh, Carefully put it in there, and then you should feel it, feel it engage. And then just wrench it out. And once you get it loose, you should be able to just thread it out by hand, and it should come out. Uh, so you can see actually this is in uh, pretty bad shape so it's time to change these if if your spark plug doesn't come out with your with your spark plug socket use a uh, use one of these magnetic tool things put it inside and, and uh, the spark plug should stick to it and then that's how you get it out so let me get the front one out as well okay so yeah I've, you can take a look at the old and the new spark plugs so it's a good time to change them so the service manual recommends every uh, 48,000 kilometers I believe that's every 30,000 miles before we put the new spark plugs back in let's make sure they're gapped properly so the gap um, between this pin and the the, uh, the top part. Um, with Iridium spark plugs, be very, very careful because this, this little thing is quite um, delicate. So don't use this. Uh, don't, don't use this um, to measure. And uh, you can probably use it to gap it, but don't, don't use it to measure the gap. Um, 
for for Indian Thunderstroke models, uh, the spec for the spark plug gap is uh, 0 0.034 inches, 34 thousandths of an inch, or that's roughly 0 0.87 uh, millimeters. Um, so that's less than a millimeter, okay? Um, so to measure them, it's actually best to use a feeler gauge. You might have to use a combination of a few to get that uh, 34 thousandths or uh, 0 0.87 millimeters. So I've got three here, um, 0 0.65, 0 0.18, and 0 0.04, which when added up gives me 0 0.87 millimeters, exactly what I need. So you can combine them to kind of measure the gap. Okay, so I've uh, gapped my spark plugs correctly to 34 thousandths of an inch. Um, when I the gaps were actually quite small, so I had to increase the gap and then measure it again. Um, now, but well, now that they're properly gapped, let's go ahead and install them. So let's start with the rear one again. So carefully put put this end of the spark plug into the uh, spark plug socket, and then uh, lower it in carefully, and you should be able to start threading it in by hand. go and it's it's tight and you're gonna have to torque this to 13 foot pounds okay so get a torque wrench and torque it to 13 foot pounds okay so let's do this There you go. And this is torqued. And now carefully put your, this rubber boot in. Make sure it's clean, there's no debris. And let's put this in so gently put it in and you should be able to just it should you should hear an audible click and there you go that's it and do the same for the front cylinder as well and uh, yeah just start to fire up the bike and see if uh, everything's working that's it that's how you change spark plugs on your Indian Springfield or Indian Thunderstroke models all right, guys, I uh, hope you like this video. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. Um, and stay tuned for future videos. All right, take care, guys.